Hey, here's the video preview for week two, June 2019. Your Bible story is Paul and Silas in prison, Acts chapter 16. When Jesus is your friend, he gives you the power to have joy. So this Bible story here is about an unfortunate circumstance, obviously, Paul and Silas in prison. But despite that, they're still able to find some joy um, in the truth of having Jesus as a friend of theirs. So uh, first activity here, kind of an introductory activity before the video. Uh, I got the car mat and some Hot Wheels toys there. You can let the kids kind of play for a little bit. And then as you wrap up that activity and have the kids straighten up and transition to the video, uh, you can kind of follow the script here. You did a great job driving your car everywhere. Today we're going to hear a Bible story about how Jesus gives us the power to have joy wherever we go. And then you have the video. For the video, I've got the remote, aiming at the Roku, um, and then you want to go to the Ollie folder, and June 9th. Very simple. Uh, next activity after that one in the video, we have the emoji memory match. So this is another activity that's kind of uh, lead up to the video, so you could do it before or after the video. Uh, but just talking about emotions, as you see, there are two cards. So there's the anger emotions, the sad. So there's two for each one, so it's just memory match. So you take all the cards, mix them up, flip them face down, and then give the kids a chance to flip the cards over and try to get a matching set. And then there's the script there and what you say. And uh, just, it's a good emotional intelligence kind of thing to teach, teach the kids different emotions that they experience and the importance of um, trusting in Jesus no matter what our feelings are. After that, we have music as joy. So in this Bible story, Paul and Silas uh, find themselves singing in prison to kind of hold on to those uh, joyful feelings that can be so fleeting in that circumstance. Uh, so for this one, I have different uh, shakers and jingle bells that you can let the kids kind of share and experiment with. And then in the process of getting these, I also found some of the mystery bottles that we had for Mom's Day at Kitty Campus. Um, so you can kind of challenge the kids to explore the sounds. This one doesn't have, uh, it has pom-poms in it. Doesn't make much sound. But you can kind of hear that. So let the kids kind of uh, explore that. And then these have the Velcro uh, covers here where they can peel and reveal and see what's inside. So you can uh, incorporate those things for the Music as Joy activity. And after that, we have Blow Your Horn party horns for the kids. So I've got 12 different party horn noisemakers. So uh, for this, the kids may have to blow pretty hard to get the reed inside of the party horn to make the noise. but. That's something that the kids can keep and take home with them. And of course, you can follow the lesson plan on that. After that, we have put on a happy face. Believe it or not, I could not find happy face stamps. I checked the party section at Meyer and at Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree. Couldn't find it. Maybe I'm just blind. But uh, what I have for us anyway, here's the activity page. And I figured since this is at the end, it may just be easiest to like, let the kids color this page and then they can take crayon and practice just drawing smiley faces all around in the border. Um, so, hey, I think most kids can draw smiley faces and they'll probably enjoy that. If you have time at the end and you want to uh, bring everyone together, I did include the script for kind of a journal and prayer activity to kind of recap the lesson. Uh, this is a great time to have the kids come on the rug. You can write their prayer requests on the board and just kind of start calming them down before their parents come and get them. But other than that, those are your activity activities for Sunday. Thanks.